Thank you for clicking on this video. My name's Eric, and today we're gonna talk about the Kiesel Vader. So the whole point of this video is to share with you my buying experience and maybe give you some pointers and some tips for your next build. So maybe like a lot of you, I started off on the builder, which I think is incredible. First and foremost, for the company to be able to offer the builder that they do, I love this thing. I spent a lot of time on there playing around with different options. After playing around on the builder, I decided to look online and see what I could find there. I found a bunch of different guitars that just blew me away. I mean, these guys are on a different level as far as building good instruments. I mean, incredible stuff come out of this factory in California. So looking online led me to a much clearer idea of where I was headed with this build. But the real trick of it came when working with the guys at Kiesel. So I kind of narrowed down what it was I had in my mind, and then I decided to go to uh, the Kiesel factory and see if I could talk to one of the guys. And what I found out was you can make an appointment to go into their showroom. Now, the guy who built my last guitar was Flock, so I went back and I set up the appointment with Flock, and Flock was awesome to work with. So I get there and I'm checking out the showroom. And if you ever have an opportunity to do that, I highly recommend it. They have all kinds of amazing instruments that they built, different specs. You can get your hands on them, play them, kind of determine what works good for you. So in doing that, I kind of had, again, an idea of where I wanted to go with the build, but I was able to talk to Flock and figure out exactly what was gonna work and what isn't. And to me, that ability to do that is absolutely priceless. It was a really fun buying experience. So some of the things we decided to go with were the Swamp Ash body uh, and then the Antique Ash treatment, which, Man, I freaking love the way that this thing came out. Another thing was the ash top. Take a look at this. I had no idea it was gonna look like this. So some of the things that I zeroed in on were the walnut purple heart, the three-piece neck, just the way that the walnut feels when you play it. I mean, if you didn't go there and experience that yourself firsthand, you would never know. So that was a big thing. Also the volume, the tone knob delete with the moving the volume down here was another thing. They had a Vader down there that I could play to see if that would be an option that I liked. So we were able to talk about tone woods. We were able to talk about specs like radius. We were able to talk about multi-scale versus not multi-scale. Uh, a bunch of different things that really even right down to the colors. Like for example, with this particular guitar having the black and white pickups, uh, little things like that, even the logo being the color that is, just the, the attention to detail that these guys have, again, would not be anything that I would have the ability to do messing around with an online builder. So again, I highly suggest calling one of the guys and working with them through the build. You won't regret it. So it would be one thing if you had a guitar that looked like this, but what about the rest of it? So what I can say is the tone of this thing, amazing. The playability of it, amazing. The setup of it, I mean the action, the way that it was delivered to me in the case, just the pure setup of it was incredible. I didn't do anything to it. I just pick it up and play it, just fall in love with it. Hey, so we can't get out of here without listening to a little piece of music that was inspired by this thing, so let's do that right now.
So I'm here to share with you that I'm completely blown away with the quality and the build of this particular guitar. Thank you Flock and everybody at Kiesel who had their hands involved with building this incredible guitar. All I can say is look forward to the next build. Hey, thanks for making the time to watch this video. Please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Ring the bell so you get notified on future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.